Nepal's carpet industry is in crisis. What once was one of the main drivers for the country's economy has also become one of its casualties. Sonam Lama says he remembers the days when his factory was full of workers, eager to keep up with consumer demand for handwoven rugs. But today, the workforce is sparse. There was a good time when Nepal used to export more than 3 million square meters a year, and now it's gone right down. You know, there's hardly a million a year also. So this shows that the production as well as the, you know, the buying capacity has gone down drastically. Years of political instability and soaring unemployment, now above 40 percent, has led to an economic migration that has spared no part of Nepal's workforce. And that, Lama says, has not only hurt his business, but may also lead to an increase in bonded child labor. You know, a lot of the male people have been going out of the country to seek jobs, and then the, the ladies and the children are left behind. And then, because of the scarcity of carpet weavers, there is a chance that, you know, people may want to, you know, again, try to take the advantage of recruiting some of these youngsters, you know, which is, which is a very, you know, sad, uh, sad situation if it happens. And it is happening, says Kool Gautam, the former deputy executive director of UNICEF. Uh, factories are once again beginning to hire children. And uh, if you, I think you have visited a number of factories where you begin to see a lot of young boys and girls being hired. Many of them are bonded. What that means is that uh, middlemen, brokers, go to villages, uh, will talk to parents, send us your boy or girl to work, will lend you a certain amount of money. And so long as that money is not paid, they are actually in servitude. This is essentially a modern-day slavery. Gautam now works with Goodweave, among the groups, he says, that's turning the tide, working to provide incentives for factory owners that choose to do the right thing. In return for not employing child labor, in return for providing better working facilities in their, in their factories, uh, Goodweave will provide a seal, um, a label, saying this carpet was made without child labor. And when those carpets are sold abroad, consumers are happy that they are buying a product in which there has been no exploitation of children. Producers are happy. And so it leads to better practices uh, overall. For his part, Sonam Lama says in order for Nepal's carpet industry to survive, the government needs to find a way to bolster its sagging economy. Most importantly, he says, the consumer should support organizations that are trying to do the right thing. People should understand, you know, like these products are child-free labor and they're worth buying it. This, this message should be, you know, uh, spread as far as possible. And by making an informed purchase, he says, buyers are in turn helping return the trade of handwoven carpets to something Nepal can be proud of. Gina Samra, CNN, Kathmandu, Nepal.